The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky proclaims the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour out speech. Night after night, they communicate knowledge. The sky and the heavens and the stars. There's no speech. There's no words. Their voice is not heard. But their message has gone out to all the earth. And their words to the ends of the inhabited world. In the heavens, he has pitched a tent for the sun. There's this concept that has, it's, it's a couple thousand years old. It started with the Greeks. Joel, we have this ring going on, and it's, uh, I'm sure you're looking for it, but it, it's, it's right up here. It's, it's like right in the back of my ears here. Um, there's this concept that says, that, well, everything that vibrates produces a pitch of some sort. And so the planets, as they go through our solar system, and as they go through our galaxy, and as they go through our universe, since they move at a constant motion, they create a pitch. So the concept is that the planets and stars, as they move in their respective ways that the Lord has set them, they actually make a song and sing a song declaring the goodness of God. What an amazing concept, isn't it? That this planet we're on, we can move the air around us and cause the air to vibrate in a harmonious way. But the planets and stars actually sing for the glory of God. And we get to sing along with the universe right now. And so... Sing, sing, sing. And make music with the heavens, we will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. Let's sing that together. Sing, sing, sing. Sing, sing, sing. And make music with the heavens, we will sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. What's not to love about you? What's not to love about you? Heaven and earth adore you. Kings and kingdoms bow down.
we are definitely going to have to do that song again. <laughs>